Welcome back again to Critical Rocket here with another MWO video for the recently released Assault Mech Zeus, the 80 tonner classic design, much loved by fans of Battletech originally. Um, not the most powerful mech, but it looked fucking awesome at the time. So, um, this is the 6T, this is not the Resistance variant, obviously, as I'm allowed to put on this really, really fucking cool um, Steiner um, camo scheme, basically. Uh, this is classic uh, colour scheme for Steiner mechs, even down to the little checkerboard patterns, it looks so cool. I am so happy with this uh, camo scheme. The, all of them are very good for each faction. I, I'm hoping uh, to be able to use them on all mechs in the future. Currently you can only use them on the resistance chassis. I'm a little disappointed with I would have loved to have had them on every NSA mech, but maybe in the future. Uh, this one is currently unmodified, uh, this is unmolested, so uh, just to give you an idea, it's standard heat sinks and all the rest of it, standard 320, one ton of LRM ammo, it's not going to last, um, so I just wanted to show off the really nice camo scheme there, it's quite nice to see. Again, I think my only complaint is that, and I've heard the graphics settings quite high, but reading some of the text is very hard on uh, on the Mac. I mean, you can read that that says Eisenschulten quite easily, and it says like Speer on the back and, and stuff, but it's really hard to uh, read on that. I assume it says like Hunt, Hunt got something, I don't know. Um, so that, that's a bit unfortunate. I'd, um, I'd kind of hope that they go for another pass and maybe tighten up the texture there, but it's, it's a minor thing. The rest of the Mac looks really nice, animates very well in game, which you'll see later. Uh, the standard one, which I have actually been playing, is the Resistance model in its um, red, black and white colour scheme. I'm, I'm not quite sure what the inspiration is there. If you know, answers on a postcard to uh, um, go fuck yourself uh, PGI. So, um, mech details on this one. A few minor changes. I think the, I upped the standard engine. I added a shitload of more LRM ammo because it's an LRM-15. Uh, and I plan to use that more often. To be honest, the LRM-15 is, in my opinion, the real punch of the Zeus because the AC-5 is just good for picking targets at range that are standing still or to combine with the lasers, and uh, the three lasers I fire in conjunction at medium range targets anyway, so it's the LRM that I'm hoping to do most damage with. Um, the, the setup is decent enough. Um, it's really nice to see round edges on the mech for a change rather than the angular kind of design that they have been going for. I've been really happy with them doing that. Uh, but yeah, I've added case in each side. I put case in the left torso for ammo explosions in the left arm, which could travel over to the left torso and blow up the weapons. And plus it was also just to make up half a ton. Um, yes, I could have in half a ton of ammo, although I'm not exactly sure whether that's law specific, but, but you know... Neither here nor there. Uh, armor is maxed out. Uh, heat efficiency is not too bad, although it, we're firing the large and mediums does overheat it quite quickly. Um, again, endo steel double heat sink, so the same as the grasshopper really. So, uh, yeah, this uh, this is a fun mech. I do like running this, as, uh, as you'll see after the jump. And we've jumped. Hello. Right. So uh, we are on. Forest Colony Snow, so a nice cold map for my uh, large and two medium lasers, uh, LRM-15 and AC-5. Now, uh, the Zeus 80 tonner. Uh, you may think 80 ton, ooh, same weight class as the Victor, same weight class as uh, an awesome. Uh, it must be designed for putting out a lot of damage. The thing is, the Zeus wasn't actually built for those roles. Uh, originally, the Zeus was intended to engage targets at extreme ranges. Uh, it was never built with the intent of uh, being at medium to uh, short range against an opponent. The idea was that it would pretty much just wear the opponent down with LRM fire, uh, AC5 um, fire and its large laser. And uh, the two mediums are essentially uh, a kind of close range backup and it was, uh, you know, in, in law perspective, it would be expected to be punching foes with its uh, missile arm because uh, if you notice, all the missiles are kind of set around uh, a solid uh, core in the middle, and that's that's the part that would be used as like a battering ram uh, against mechs. Um, I, I think the other reason is it's quite squat uh, to give it a lower profile so it doesn't get uh, fired upon quite as often. Uh, return fire while it's uh, you know launching LRMs at targets. Now, this round uh, will drag on a bit. Um, I do use the mech. Uh, pretty much for its intended purpose, which isn't to get up close and personal on the fight. It's not a brawler. Uh, unlike the Grasshopper, 
in the previous video. Um, the Zeus is pretty much designed to um, stay back and wear targets down with LRM fire and its AC and lasers and not really try and get uh, in the face of any targets. And uh, I'll admit it does get a bit hairy a couple of times in this match. But you're not interested in, you know, what the mech comes with normally or what it was built for or why it had those particular things. That's for that guy who's the, the Law Warrior series. Yeah. I'm the guy who plays it. So, essentially, <laughs> the mech is... I don't know if it's going to have a lot of fans in respect to its builds, because I think there are going to be other assault mechs that can kind of do what it does better. Uh, you... I think you have a couple of uh, a missile uh, slots in the arm. Uh, you have got a few extra um, energy slots, and I think you've got at least two ballistic slots. It's kind of balanced across the board, really. Doesn't really shine in any one place. So, uh, if you like a nice mixed loadout, it's good for that. I mean, it comes with a mixed loadout anyway, but if you want to specialise it a bit more, you can. Um, I believe the standard variant, the 6T, yeah, yeah, the 6T, uh, comes with a PPC instead of the resistance variant's um, AC5. So, that's more laser focused. Now, that chassis, you may... Uh, and I've already seen these builds, you may just want to dump a load of large lasers in, so you can have a, a faster stalker, I guess, because I know there's the 4 year large stalker. Uh, so, again, it can be a laser vomit build if you want it to be. Uh, you can, no doubt, since the AC on the resistance variant is uh, essentially <laughs> just uh, an AC in the arm, it means you can stick in a Gauss rifle means you can stick in an AC-20 if that's what you want to go for, if you want that, that brawly kind of setup. Uh, in fact, it probably would work quite well as a kind of faux victor, I suppose, with an AC-20 and a, a couple more. In fact, you could build the victor if, if, you, if you really wanted to, um, but have more energy slots, I guess, so you could have four energy, uh, energy hard points like medium lasers and... Um, a couple of SRMs and an AC-20, probably. I, I couldn't see a reason not to. Uh, the mech, I would not recommend XL engines for. Jesus, no. Don't do it. Uh, the issue is, I've... this was... I think this was the fifth attempt at trying to get um, a winning match recording, and a lot of hits went straight to my arms or straight to my left and right torso. My CT was fine most of the time, but it was the... Um, it was the, the torsos that really, really got picked on by uh, by enemy fire. So XL engine is not the way to go with the Zeus. You're more than capable with a standard engine. Uh, in fact, you will probably benefit more in the long run from having a standard engine over an XL. Uh, the gain in speed is negligible. I mean, you, it, it, you could run it like a fast awesome, but then the fast awesome has the capability of being things like a splat awesome. or mounting a shitload of LRMs, uh, whereas this doesn't have that capability. Uh, this is mostly designed uh, as a kind of, you know, a, just looking at the hard points, jack of all trades. Doesn't specialise anyway. May I guess as a, as a push, you could say energy weapons, so a fuckload of pulse lasers, maybe. A couple of PPCs, who knows. Whatever floats your boat. Um, the default setup for me, I, I found, worked quite well. Uh, as I said earlier, the two mediums and the large laser firing together uh, at uh, medium to short ranges works quite well. Uh, it's a nice punch. It's not overly hot. In fact, the only thing that was really keeping my heat up was uh, firing the LRM constantly after firing the lasers, where I didn't, I didn't really give the mech a lot of time to cool down. As you can see, uh, the heat level was is you know starting to drop, and then I fire the lasers again, and then it'll be like I fire the LRM, and it starts to spike. Uh, so it's not like it isn't very heat efficient. It is quite good uh, for its size. Uh, speed, I think, is a non-issue because again, it's. It's not a brawler assault mech, it's really specialised in, in the idea of, of using range over uh, point blank fire. I know in some maps that's almost impossible, things like Caustic for instance. Uh, you're not going to be doing that, River City, you're not going to be doing that. Uh, you are going to be trying to get up, up close and personal. Uh, would I recommend it though? Yeah, yeah I would. Actually, oh yes, yes I would. It's um, it's an it's a gorgeous mech. It's 
looking really, really pretty. I mean, it was already a really good looking mech in the original book. Uh, look up the artwork if, if you if you don't know. Um, the original artwork looks really good, and um, they've I think they've done a really good job of capturing that that classic uh, style and feel of, of the Zeus. Uh, it's always been one of those mechs that a lot of people have have always said, oh, I love the Zeus, you know, even even if they can't pinpoint why, it's usually because it looks really good. Um, and it's, come on, it's called Zeus. It, that that alone is instant, you know, day one purchase. Let's fucking pre-order this bitch. It's the Zeus. It's the king of the gods. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was cool for that reason. Oh, dual AC-20s. Here it comes. Bam, look at that. Right, uh, my right torso opened up. I know that was I know that was forty points of damage, but you can imagine it like laser vomit and constant fire most of the fire directs into your torso. Anyway, um so yeah, it's always held that kind of special place with fans' hearts. It looks great, it doesn't have the best weapon set up, but damn it, it it's called Zeus, so you know, it's automatically badass. Uh As I said, if if you like your assault mechs, this is a great addition to the collection of uh, of Inisfer and Clan Assault Mechs. Uh if you like specializing, it's definitely more in the energy camp than it is in the ballistics or the missile camp. Uh, so you could probably wrangle a few good energy builds out of it. Um, its max engine size is decent. It goes up to I think the maximum of like, uh, three three eighty something like that. Uh, so you can get okay speed. I don't know what the speed tweet was, but I'm shit at math, so I'm not even going to try and come up with whatever the hell that would be, um, with the, the bonus applied to the standard speed and, you know, we'll carry the 300 and stroke the cat and all the rest of it. Uh, but yeah, so suffice to say, you could probably wrangle a decent speed, but yeah, uh, cool looking mech, nice, diverse, uh, hard points, um, it's called Zeus, and it's it's finally here. It's finally here, folks. We got the Zeus. It's finally arrived. Now, if we could just get the uh, the Cyclops and the Charger, we'll, uh, we'll be getting up to the up to the end of the thirty twenty five assault max. You know, no Goliath. But yeah, uh, once again, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry if that video was a little boring. I know most of it was me just kind of cautiously running backwards and forwards and shooting at a spider. But uh, I, I was going to take what I could get at this point, so. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. I really, 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 really touched by it. So, uh, yeah. Critical Rocket signing out. Have a good week, everyone.